Alrighty YouTube, I made another knife. This was made from hexaw blade and 1095 powder and it's been semi-eyed around a piece of lawnmower blade. I didn't uh, film the whole process because yeah, that was a lot of uh, trial and error and yes it's forced in failure but uh, it's a lot of editing for very little reason I guess when it's just fail and fail and fail and fail and I did fail a lot on this um, but I've made a knife I've ground out the profile and everything it's ready to quench and I figure this is the fun part to watch the knife go in and see if or the steel go in and see if a blade will come out or if it will split apart there are very little um, delaminations I've found a few while I've been sanding in but it's only surfal so only on the surface my English is a bit rusty so anyway I'm gonna light up the forge and then we're gonna go uh, heat treat the blade That seemed to work quite nicely, at least uh, it didn't bend, the edge and the spine and everything is straight. I was concerned that with the thin filed edge that uh, it might warp or wobble or something, but seems good. I even forgot to, um, what's it called? Yeah. Uh, normalization. I guess I annealed it uh, before I started um, filing it, so I guess that's maybe the same. Uh, so, yeah. Now it's just to see if it's gotten hard and and we will see if we can file it and make a nice looking blade out of it. Alrighty, it's been file tested and it's hard. So, that's nice. Alrighty, we have uh, sent the knife to grade 800 and it's time to dip it in acid. 
after acetone wash and such. I have a small dimple up here from a superficial delamination that wow, that I yeah had to remove. Um, otherwise, there is no there. There's a small small delam up here, but again, it's a very superficial. I guess it's called. Um, so nothing integral. Um, on the knife so after acid dip we will see how the Damascus is looking and how the center line down the spine is <laughs> As a handle material, I have this uh, piece of Ipe, um, I think that's how you pronounce it, Ipe, or oh, Ipe, yeah, it's a South American jungle uh, wood or something, uh, very hard and well, I have a bit of it, but I'm thinking um, they would make some, it would make some nice scales and handle, so Gonna cut a chunk of this off and use that. It's been um, in the garage for many years, and before I got it, it's been uh, dried and stocked. And so this should be very hard and stable, and not crack or give any problems as a handle. So there we go. That's my choice of handle. And here we go. Handle scales. Oh, the beginning of and. We re etching the, the knife because yeah topping it with water was not a good idea. Um, let's just say uh, it didn't mix in so the whole knife was nice black and the top of the handle was barely touched by the acid. So we're trying to redo it um, and yeah flip the knife around and trying to acid the handle that didn't get uh, any acid the first time so that was my a noob uh, mistake and who knows uh, I might have to um, sand it all down and redo it or whatever we will see Yes, I had to um, resand my knife because there was an etching uh, mistake on the handle. Because I poured water into my ferrochloric solution, thinking it would mix together like acids do. But now I just made a, a thinner solution in the top and it should have been stirred and stuff. Um, so, resanded it to 800 grit and we're gonna re etch it. That's about it. Nothing else, nothing more. So, this time all the etching solution have been mixed so it will work equally. 15 minutes or so have elapsed and it's time to get this out of the acid. Um, now I brought a small set of pliers with me and in all my mess placed them here and couldn't find them. Um, boring, 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 boring. And here we go. One black looking knife. I think we're gonna give it some more time maybe. Yes, it's two second. Uh, getting it out of the second quench. Oh, 
Oh, no. Second edge. Quench is with the heat and the oil. And yeah, yeah, yeah. English terms. I'm sorry. I don't know if you can see anything actually. Let's try and. Yeah. Here we go. It's getting there. This time there's no line. Oh. Guess the light is on auto. Just gotta fix that. Here we go. So, here we go after the second quench. I keep talking about quenching. I haven't quenched this. Well, I did some time ago. I just etched it the second time. So far, pretty satisfied with the result. As you can see, there's still a bit Damascus up here on the edge, but I figure that doesn't matter because I made the Damascus from 1085 and hexaw blades and it's hardenable steel. Also, I haven't really figured out how to quench the um, lawnmower blade 5160 or whatever it is um, to perfection. Um, it's hard, but it's not as hard as I would like it to be, I guess. But it should be able to hold an edge for common knife use. We will move on with this and soon it will have handles and stuff. So while the knife is in the coffee, um, I made this cardboard template and I'm trying to make a template for a sheath and still not sure how. I'm working with a few ideas about making a leather sheet with a yeah, plastic liner so it will look nice on the outside and it will have plastic protecting uh, the Damascus from the leather. Yeah, next project or next part will be sourcing some leather for this. That's a perfect fit. Ah, this is the guest room, the wife never in here. She won't notice, I'm sure. One slab of sofa. It's okay. I think this will, along with the plastic liner, do a nice sheath. This is a good match. And been traced out. Probably won't work. <clears throat> Gotta go get uh, one of my misses. Holy precious things. I hope it's okay for leather. The question is, would I even dare use this? The missus will kill me. Twice. When she knows what's happened to the leather sofa, she will kill me with this. So better not uh, ding it up. We're gonna use the. Oh, and I'm sure this is plenty good for leather. This is nice for sales. So.
Alrighty, we turned the sofa into a sheath and yeah, now it's time to uh, finish the knife and get it out of the coffee itch. It's been in there for two days, so 48 hours and it's time to get it out. Cleaning up my um, workshop after the last project before I start a new project, and I figured maybe I should finish off this video before I start jumping into new projects because, yeah, I'm really bad like that going from one project to another, and it's not that often I finish projects. Well, it's all depending on the importance of it. Oh. How to say it, but I often lose, um, I wouldn't say interest, but then I find something that interests me a bit more at the moment, and then you kind of go in another direction for a while and then come back to the old projects. And yeah, in my opinion, you can't have too many projects as long as you just keep going back and you don't forget all about them but enough about that here we go with the knife that I made from San Mying uh, Hexor Damascus to some uh, 5160 lawnmower blade and there we go and I made a little sheath for it as well um, the inside is uh, plastic that is um, heated and kind of wrapped around the, the knife um, so it has a nice secure fit and then I just made a nice uh, leather wrapping around the, the plastic sheath and this way I hope that I can keep the moisture off the Damascus and have a nice knife without a plastic sheath because yeah um, for a tactical knife or um, whatever knife you bring into the jungle moist areas uh, stuff like that sure plastic sheaths are nice uh, they're very practical, but in my opinion, they're not very good looking. So, try to make a workaround. Um, I could have made a wooden sheath, but yeah, that's a whole different project, and that would take a lot of my time from forging. And that's actually what's interesting me at the moment. So, I want to forge, and I think the next challenge will be after I made this semi and Damascus billet success I think I'm gonna try to jump into um, stainless steel and copper mixtures I don't know how it will work out and I have started with uh, some stainless steel earlier and did very terrible um, but hoping to take some of the stuff I learned from that and pouring it into this new project and it might be terrible we will see for now over and out thank you for watching click subscribe and all that kind of just jazz see you around